In this video, I will show you how to enable Start VM on Connect feature, which is available currently in preview from Microsoft. Uh, and the goal of this feature is to start up a VM in the host pool where all the VMs that can be accessed are currently turned off. Uh, so if a user is logging in, this will automatically power on a VM to give that user a session. Um, it used to be possible to do this with personal desktops only, but now it is possible to do with pooled and personal desktops. The configuration is really easy. Let's open up a workspace, find a host pool. For example, this marketing one, it is a pooled host pool. We're going to go under properties. Oops. We're going to go to properties. We're going to select WVD. And then we will have this option right here called Start VM on Connect with a reference to an article that's going to explain exactly what it does and how it works. Um, if we check this box and the necessary RBAC roles haven't been created or the permissions needed for this to work haven't been assigned, there will be a message that will come up on the screen and then clicking Save will actually perform the necessary actions to add those RBAC roles to enable Start VM on Connect as long as the user who's currently logged into Nerdia Manager is a subscription owner and global administrator who is allowed to make those changes. Now, one thing to point out is that there are two options here. There is one called Start VM on Connect, and the other one is Allow End Users to Manually Start a Session Host when none are started. And you have the option of having both of these turned off, which means users have no control over the power state of the session host VMs, you can check this option, which will automatically power on a VM um, when the user tries to connect, or you can use this option. This option, you can refer to a previous video on this, but this option allows an end user to log into the Nerdio Manager end user console and do self-service actions, one of which is going to be the ability to power on session hosts within this host pool. The reason you may want to use this feature rather than this feature is if you want to granularly decide which users are allowed to start hosts and which users are not, then using Start VM on Connect is probably not the right approach because that means any user who's entitled to this pool will be able to start VMs upon logon. Whereas if you use this option, you can define which users have the role and access to this workspace to do this manual host starting action. Hope you found this useful and I look forward to seeing you in future videos.